Hey everyone, it's Wingspan TT, and if you're watching, you know what time it is. No, it's not time to talk about Kevin, although his behavior is rather troubling. It's it's time for Assassin's Creed 3. We're picking up some footage from some old Assassinate games, and you're gonna recognize some of this footage because I'm drunk, and also because you may have seen it in my latest rap video known as Animus Hack. I wasn't really going to commentate something, but, you know, my bottle of Moscato had a really convincing argument that I really should consider it. So I was like, all right, you win this time with your fruity mid-palate transition and your smooth undertones of pear and uh, barefoot Moscato, man. You got to look into that. That's some good stuff. So anyway, this isn't live. This is some... This is me playing Assassinate. This is a little while ago, but um, these matches I had. Oh, excuse me. I have the uh, the file saved as two good Assassinate matches. Mpeg. So I'm just gonna check it out because if I, if past wingspan said they're good, they've got to be good. I'm here with Adam K512. I'm sure that's some kind of joke about when Bill Gates said that you'd only need 512 kilobytes of RAM. War has nothing to do with that. It's also a distinct possibility. And we're gonna jump into this game. Let me let me just say something, all right? Everyone's been talking about smoke bomb. So you got Squidish and someone Shenmue and ninjas are all complaining about smoke bomb, okay? And then you have Rain and Stormwake and the Dark Ninja Clan are all defending Smoke Bomb. And I am just tired of hearing about Smoke Bomb. You know, Smoke Bomb, I can understand. If You know, it may be an assassinate. It gets a little bit much. This guy, it's really obvious that this guy back there, he's the guy all the way back there. It's like that guy right there. I'm just going to pretend I'm not me. But I am me, so I'm going to get him. And then I thought I had the gun. That's why I did those knives, but I didn't have the gun. And he has Smoke Bomb, but I knew he had Smoke Bomb. People complaining about smoke bomb don't realize that you can tell when people are gonna smoke you. When they're just standing there, like they they're like, oh come get me, bro, come at me. Guess what? They're about to smoke you. Alright, someone to my left is clearly my pursuer. It's that guy. It's the red the Napoleon commander guy. And then yeah, yeah, that's just it's fine. It's fine. It's the only one they had that was white and it wasn't eight and a half, nine by twelve. It's the only one. It was the only one, so my wife wanted me to buy a, uh, a thing. Alright, I won't. So, <laughs> there's a horse there, but you can't ride the horse. Why do they put a horse there if you can't ride it? This guy's going to hay bale, so am I. But instead of making out, yeah, hey, I'm going to get to second base with this guy in hay bale. Adam, K512, taking the lead because he's got more points than me. So the thing with Smoke Bomb is... I think people need to seriously consider, like, they always say, like, oh, well, the nerf to the, the reload time didn't matter. Didn't matter, smoke bomb's still the best. Well, it is still the best, but you have to think about what the nerf actually means. Oh, shit, this girl right next to me is clearly a person. So I should have really just ran at her and gotten her, but now she knows that I know who she is, and she's probably going to smoke me. Yeah, no, she doesn't have it. Oh, I got the poison on her. She thinks she's so smart. That's Adam, by the way. So Adam's a girl, and now I'm going to be uh, co not catching up exactly, 1,100 points. Get more points. This guy's clearly a human. Look at the way he's walking. He's just like staggering around drunk like how I would be if I was standing up right now. You know what? I'm going to stand up. I'm going to do this commentary standing up, and you can't tell, but I just stood up. Whoa, you, ever, you know how like when you stand up, I mean, you drank a little, and then that's the first time when you realize that you probably had too much to drink? That just happened. That just happened. So anyway, the thing with Smoke Bomb is, you know, how many times do you really get to use Smoke Bomb in a match? It's got cooldown 100 seconds. Maybe you got like boost cooldowns or any shit like that. Then it'll drop down a little bit. This guy, I knew that he was going to chase me, so I was going to smoke him. And you might see that as overpowered, but if he didn't chase me, if he just pulled out a pistol and shot me, guess what? I wouldn't be able to do this silent focus kill. Going in the grave, 3,000 points, first place. Seven minutes left on the clock, plenty of time to break 10k. I'm going to aim for that. Um, what was I saying? Oh god, there's a person over there. Is this her? I don't even remember. Yes, it's her. So, I know she's gonna knife me, but what she doesn't know is I'm also gonna knife her. 
and she's gonna smoke me, but my knives are long-lasting knives, so they'll cripple a little longer, hold you back a little longer. They last a little longer, longer with strong knives. Not really what I should have done here. I messed up. I really should have just ran at her because I saw her use throwing knives and smoke bomb. I know she has no defense. I should just run right at her, but she's probably just gonna run for a chase breaker, and she knows that I have no way to stop her either. So I'm just gonna waste her time. I'm just gonna point starve her because she's in second place and she runs away because she's scared. Anyway, like I was saying about Smoke Bomb, oh man, maybe with a 90, 80 second cooldown, you got to use it like what? Like six times a match, five to six times a match, five to six times a match. Like you were gonna tell me that you get five to six stuns that it's actually like good? They're like, you, what does that give you? 1200 points, right? Meanwhile, this, she obviously poisoned me because she just like so slick walking by me. Good night. You know they say alcohol is a type of poison. So I guess my character is just like knocking back the fucking liquor. I can't concentrate on anything. I'm just going off the handle here and I switch to the gun because I'm tired of people using smoke bomb. But see that instead of complaining about smoke bomb, I'm just going to shoot them with a gun. I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to put lead in their fucking skulls. That's what I'm going to do. So you could complain all day. This is, alright, this is the guy. I'm going to run at him. I'm going to lure him because I know he's not good enough to like, oh no, that wasn't the guy. Jeez, I'm bad. I'm really bad. I'm also drunk, so I was probably like smart at the time. This guy is a guy. This is the guy right here. So he's going to smoke. Anyway, an assassinate smoke bomb really presents you with things you can't do in other rounds. Like smoke bomb is worth way more than 200 points because it pretty much guarantees you some kind of chain. Uh, grounded kill is automatically worth like an extra hundred points plus a free kill. So, you know, smoke bombs and then this guy's gonna come down here. So I'm just gonna come up here. I know he's gonna come down here. There he is. There he is. Hello. It's raining men. Hallelujah. Oh god, Adam got ahead of me by 400 points. Shit. Alright, someone over here is a person. It's this guy. He didn't know it was me though. I'm gonna run right at him. Probably not a good idea. Probably should just act as stealthy. Because he didn't know it was me yet. But, whatever. So in a normal match that's not assassinate, you use smoke bomb like maybe five or six times a match. He's gonna try to run away. You can't run away, dude. I just activated two kill streaks, and maybe I should have been run the 550 kill streak, but I didn't think about it at the time. So normal match, you get five smokes, you get five stuns. Guess what? It's only worth a thousand points. Meanwhile, you could use decoy twelve times, twelve times, and even if they fell for it half the time, that means that they got you got. 10, you got five or six lures, all right? So six lures is 600 points, plus the stuns associated with the lures. So that means you got 300 points for every lure. So if you got 1,500 points, like do you guys not understand math? I don't understand why someone, everyone's just so pissed about smoke bomb. This guy's not good enough. So I'm gonna get up here and just be like, up to the rooftop, wingspan goes, shoot you down and somehow that misses. Then I come over here, you shouldn't be near buildings. If you're running away from someone, you shouldn't be near buildings. I take the lead with 6,500 points, but now I'm behind with 6,500 points. This guy's a person, ho, ho, ho. Gonna move towards a blend group and hope he chases me. All right, all right, let's see. All right, he's gonna try to run past me again. I don't, what? I, you heard, you heard it. I was spamming X, you heard me spamming X. So really that cost me the game. That cost me a lot of points right now. I mean, just, I just felt, now I'm 900 points behind, behind Adam. Adam K512. And I'm like Eve here, like I'm missing a rib. And also I slept with Adam. That's probably something that I should point out. This guy's a person. If you've seen Animus Hack music video, you know what fate is about to befall this guy. Incognito, poison, focus, kill. Um, really good tip here. You stun someone like this. You stay in a blend group. If you're in a blend group, your uh, approach meter fills a lot faster, right? So instead of just getting a silent kill, you can get an incognito. And in this case, incognito poison. I still don't take the lead. Still behind with 80, 50 points. Two minutes, 52 seconds left on the clock. So basically, my whole point with, with Smoke Bomb is just like, if you can't beat them, beat them. Uh, you can beat them, all right? You should, A, the, fir the first way to beat Smoke Bomb is to realize when people are about to use Smoke Bomb, okay, by looking at their behavior, okay? The second way to beat Smoke Bomb is instead of playing into it, use like wipe, use offensive Smoke Bomb, use pistol, use animus shield, use a decoy or bodyguard to make them fuck up, like there's, or just get higher than them in elevation, they can't Smoke Bomb you. So really, there's so many ways to counter Smoke Bomb. 
that it's not even funny. If you if you feel like you're above using a pistol or wipe or something like that, that's your goddamn problem. It's not my problem. And this person, she's hanging back there. She thinks she's so smart. Like, I'm at wingspan's reach. Well, she is because she ran behind something. But I got my eye on her. I know where she is. I know where she is. Meanwhile, someone's over here. They're in that blend group. I'm not stupid enough. Now it's going to be the guy walking right towards me. I could tell. It's the commander. And I still see her back there. She thinks she's sm so smart. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, Adam. Hide, Adam. I got news for you. You're not going to get an easy ass kill on me. I'm going to stun this guy. But instead, I'm just going for the kill. Adam here thinks he's going to fucking vulture me. Nope. Vulture this bitch. Boom. Boom. And I don't know where, um, where my target went. He got away. I just trinity your ass like dodge this. Remember that? It's from that movie, The Matrix. You may have seen it. It was a fairly popular movie starring Keanu Reeves as Keanu Reeves. All right, there he is. That's clearly him. You can just tell by the way he's walking. He is definitely just, no, nope, it wasn't him. No, it was that guy. No, it was this guy up here. So I'm going to do some parkour shit, just do a 90, 180 degree jump. So he doesn't expect it. He's going to come over here. And I'm going to be like, oh, you want to chase me in the close quarters? You know, like, nope, I'm going to stun you. Because you bumped into civilians by mistake, and I'm going to get my incognito poison because I'm in a blend group. Hidden, incognito, grounded focus poison. Boom. How many points is this worth? Watch it. I'm at 9,800 points. This is going to be awesome. Yeah, go run. Run home to mama. Boom. I got prescription, 1,150 points. So hold your tongue for a moment, then hold your breath, and you're done. Adam, though, is ahead. He's got 12,000 points. So he's ahead of me by like 2,000 points. I can recognize Adam, um, you know that one that one time where I just got killed, where I got stunned and I shouldn't have gotten stunned, that really cost me a lot. This guy, there's no point in chasing him, so I'm going to run up to Adam instead and get the kill. To get the extremely late lock so he doesn't respond, we get the streak, plus 250 with 10 seconds left on the clock. I'm not going to have a chance to get here, so I tried to contest this kill, I didn't get it. Adam, K, 5, 12, takes the match, 13,000 points to my 11,000 points. I definitely messed up in a few parts there. Um, definitely uh, could have used my gun a little better in a couple places. I had my gun on recharge and I didn't use it and I could have used it to scare off Adam at certain points or just to get some executions. I did get 17 kills before death but he had more kills. He was a little more aggressive too. There's a couple points where I poison people and then I just kind of stood around just watching them die and it's really fun to watch people die to poison just like it is to watch people die in real life. But um Really what you need to do is poison them and then just move on with your life and go find your next target. So I probably could have gotten at least two or three more kills. And if I didn't get stunned that one time, if I killed that guy instead, I probably would have got like another 500, 600 points off of that. So right off the bat, that would have been like probably 1,000 points. And hey, if I had gotten some kills, they might have been on Adam or people Adam would have killed. So I would have starved him for some points. We might have tied. But uh, good game, Adam. We're just going to go in the next game here. Just going to go straight into it. So I'm, you know, this is an old game. And I was playing with the ability sets, I really wasn't sure what I want to do. Do I want to get Hot Pursuit? I tend to have two Assassinate sets, one for like Assassinate against idiots, and then one for Assassinate against like good players. And good players, like I, I get the gun out. I, I don't use things like, uh... oh man. Guys, you really have to pick up a bottle of Barefoot Moscato. It's so sweet, like normally I don't like sweet wines, right? Typically, I feel like if a wine's too sweet, like you get a, like a really pansy ass white Zinfandel, I can't enjoy a bottle like that. But there's something about Moscato, especially this Moscato. It's it's light. It's very light. All right, so it's not just hitting you with sugar. All right, it's a very clean finish. The sugars don't linger on your tongue the same way that like a really gross white Zinfandel, like out of the box, a fucking box Zinfandel does. I'm gonna get my Huntsman here. So clean finish, light finish. Really cool. So the fact that it's it's fruity, that has a little bit of a, you could taste the grape in it a little more. You kind of get that that pearish kind of taste. Um, that it could, the 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 sweetness of it can be forgiven because it just it just has a nice a nice really clean taste. Um, speaking about clean taste, I'm about to taste the blood of a bunch of people, including Fallen Blood Eyes in this match. Um, Fallen Blood Eyes. All right, what am I gonna name this skill set? I don't remember what I named it. I probably needed something stupid. Oh, this is my wanted set. That's right. This is a really bad set for wanted, by the way. This is definitely don't bring those skills if wanted. That is not an, ab an ability set you want to bring. So this smoke bomb. I got my poison. I got fallen blood eyes here. Thinking he's trying to trick me, but I got smoke bomb. I, I know he was gonna smoke me. He was about to smoke me. And if I had animus shield, I would just animus shield and attack him. I'm like, can I get a hidden kill here? Nope. I didn't even get silent kill. 
So I do get the poison kill. I got my 200 points for my stun. I'm just going to lock him. Look at that. He used this smoke bomb for no reason. I got 1,000 points. I'll take it. I locked him. Maybe he panicked because he heard, like, the lock thing. So he thought that uh, someone else had locked him. He dropped smoke bomb. But he used the smoke bomb a little too early there. Too early in the match. Someone over there, one of these people, is not like the other. And they left the match. It looks like someone... Oh, there's Fallen Blood Eyes again. He thinks he's going to trick me. I know he doesn't have smoke bombs. Very possibly he has knives. But I have a gun. So I don't really care. And he was about to knife me. And he didn't. So now he's dead. He's in a grave. Someone is coming around here. So I don't want to walk around this corner without the lock ready. Because I know if I walk around this corner, I'm going to get instantly stunned. So if I go up to the roof, I know that they're really close to edge because I saw the compass. Oh, shit. He's on the roof. God damn it. I messed up this whole thing. All right. Well, luckily I got to kill him. I was not paying attention, though. I got four out of five on my streak. Gonna be very, very close to get my streak. It's plus 250 points. There's Fallen Blood Eyes. I don't know if he's gonna actually move close enough to the edge that I could just get a drop kill on him. No, he's trying to get a, um, a chase. He probably doesn't have smoke bomb. He probably does have throwing eyes. But now, see, there's another player over there interacting with him. So I do realize now I could probably get an easy kill on, like, one of them. This guy is not dumb enough to walk over here. No, he is. He's too close. It's not that he's dumb, but here's the thing. If you see someone is in a position where they can acro kill you, aerial kill you, you have to get away from the roof. All right, being near the roof is not your friend. And I see the Fallen Blood Eyes is now climbing the roof. Speaking of roofs, um, this was the guy who I was making those lines about being the Cape Crusader. And I'll waste his time. I'm in first place. If he's trying to lure me out to do something stupid, it's not going to happen. I have infinite patience. I know he's got smoke. He's gonna just going to keep climbing here. It's only 12 seconds until I get my gun, so I'm just going to wait for my gun and then just shoot him. Pretty much what my plan is. I'm going to keep him as my target, because if I lo unlock him as my target, he could just get me as a target back, and then instantly just get like an aerial or acro kill on me. Now he's jumping down there into what appears to be a haystack. I'm going to hope to get an acro kill on him, but if not, it's all right. All right, here he is. I don't know what he's doing. So I'm just going to gun him. I don't care. Don't give a fuck. All right? <laughs> That's what that line in my rap is about, right? You know, haters crying when they die into my motherfucking pistol. And uh, this guy's getting slapped. I'm going to try to get the uh, hidden, focus, incognito poison. But I don't really know if I can pull off incognito. I'm kind of far from him. So I'm just going to get the poison. This time I learned my lesson. I'm going to get away. Kind of try to lure out these people around the corner. I see there's people coming. There's blood eyes, dude. Why are you still on the roof, blood eyes? Extremely disappointing. I keep thinking maybe I'll get a grab kill if I come up here. Looks like there's more than one person on the roof. I was really hoping for the grab kill on Blood Eyes there. But we now see that he's trying to lure me into some kind of chase or something like that. He's going to fall down here. Not going to go after him. I see someone else is above me. And you notice the shadow, right? I saw their shadow. I now realize I'm in trouble because I saw that their shadow was on the roof. I got 37.50. Next highest people are in the 1100 range, so I'm not too concerned. They're going to catch up, but you never know. Anything can happen. These are all really low-level players. Um, and I probably could be playing a little better and, like, luring out some stuns and stuff. I get tired of that shit, too. This guy, I don't know what his plan is. I probably could just sprint at him right there and just gotten the kill. But he's just running around the map. He's really late for his concert. It's Bieber. He's running late for his concert. These people are going to kill each other now. So I'm going to move in the general area. I'm going to keep calm, carry on. I know that someone is coming. Oh, there's Blood Eyes. There you go again, Blood Eyes. Up on the roofs like you're the Cape Crusader. But you ain't the Batman. I'll cap you later. Oh, boom. That's right. I can I can still remember the lines to a rap I wrote like a week and a half ago, even if I'm intoxicated. I probably should have locked him and then just climbed up and tried to get a grab kill. But instead, I'm going to climb up here and try to see if I can get someone with some kind of grab kill by luring them into a chase near the ledge. I'm not particularly good at that, though. I feel like other players just tend to get that. All right, here we go. There's some kind of like thing here I'm going on. Can I get an acro kill? Will he stay close enough to the fence? No, he's running away from the fence. He's running away. He comes back into the range and I get him. I don't know why he came back in range. But I'm going to drop the smoke bomb. Looks like someone's coming after me. I don't see where. Oh, there he is. There's running around the tree. I was hoping to get stunned behind the tree. Like ring around the rosy, pocket full of posy. Ashes, ashes. Apparently I'm the one falling down. That's it. Let's see, other drinks, other alcoholic beverages. So, I bought a bottle of Cuervo just because I've been like, you know, I don't really know what tequila tastes like. Maybe I should get some tequila. Turns out that Cuervo is terrible. It's terrible. It just burns a lot. It has no fucking flavor. It just tastes like alcohol. It's garbage. So, I went to the bar. I asked for some, like, nice 
some nice tequila, like something with like a little like, bit of money. You know, something that costs a little bit of extra money. This guy unfortunately gets too close to edge for him. So I get the I get the um, aerial kill. Someone coming from my left right after me. I'm gonna try to initiate a chase. Run over here, force them to chase me. If they want to chase me now, pretty far along. And they do want to chase me. So I'm gonna run this way, then do my famous thing where I jump 180 degrees. Because that throws most people off. Most people are not prepared to take a 180 degree turn. And now I'm like well outside of his range. Gonna get over here, get into a blend group so my approach meter, my hidden meter just instantly empties. And now I can get back up here and gun something. Anyway, if you guys want some really good tequila, like something you can actually drink and not just down like a shot. Fallen Blood Eyes, what are you doing on the roof, bro? You're not allowed to be on the roof. Nope. I really hope that like didn't get his kill. I think, oh, he killed a civilian. Or no, he killed someone. All right. Um, what you want to do if you really want to get a, a nice, a real nice, uh, tequila, uh, yeah, now see, I should have unlocked him here so I could stun him, but I just decided to poison him instead, not a good idea, no, it looks like someone's behind me, oh, he got the kill on me, how is that even po I didn't think that was possible once you poison someone that they could do that, anyway, what was I saying, if you want to get a good tequila, like something you could just sip in a glass on the rocks, you want to ask for an Añejo tequila. Añejo tequila is a lot lighter than normal tequila, a lot clearer, um, and it has a nice, it just doesn't have that burn. It's got a lot more interesting flavors. A lot of people say that you can kind of taste like uh, chocolatey undertones or like different types of spices. Um, he's just trying to, see, he's trying to lure me into smoke bomb. So the first thing I'm going to do is get down there. Okay, and yeah, he still got the kill on me, but I unlocked him in the last second, so he didn't get the stun, all right? But you could tell he's trying to lure me into a stun because of the way he's acting. He's he's tr he's just standing around in the open, clearly waiting for me to rush him so he can either knives me or smoke me. So people who keep complaining about smoke bomb that comes out of nowhere, you can tell when someone's trying to smoke you. It's when they when they're acting like they want it, like when they're dressed like they want it, all right? And some people will say, well, really, it's the it's the stunner's fault, all right? That it's not it's not the smoke bomber's fault. It shouldn't matter how you're dressed, all right? But if you're dressed like a smoke bomb, all right, I'm just gonna treat you like a smoke bomb. All right, someone's on the roof, or they're on the other side of this building. I'm going to guess the roof, though. Um, I'm just waiting for them to come out. I wouldn't be surprised if it's blood eyes. It is this guy on the roof. So, can't say I'm particularly partial to this, but he now has killed a civilian. He's totally uh, vulnerable, but I can now see that this guy right next to me killed a civilian, and that's the reason I didn't go running after him, because I would have identified myself to the guy right there who clearly was on my tail. Now I know that this guy's human. He has now got me, so I'm going to move towards this blend group so I can get a blended environmental whatever kill, get a smoke bomb. And look, if he wasn't so obvious, I wouldn't be able to smoke him, all right? Or look, he could have shot me. He could have smoked me first. He could have wiped me. He could have thrown a wipe, all right? There's all kinds of ways he could get it. It's just Fallen Blood Eyes. Now whenever I just see this guy, I just assume he's Fallen Blood Eyes. Nope, it's not a human. 7,450 points. Moving up to first place. Drunk in first place. No, I guess I was sober when I actually played this game. Drunken commentary. I'm just going to lock this guy. Just to see if he reacts. If he jumps, I get a cool bonus. If not, then I don't know what I'm going to do. No, I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, like, pull the trigger and just kill him. I don't have time for this crap. And, you know, you, one thing people have to understand about pistol is it's also a defensive ability, right? By using pistol on him, I made it impossible for him to kill me. Basically, it was totally defensive. I'm going to expose this guy and go up here so I can win this chase. So basically I stood on purpose next to Chase Breaker so I could get away from the chase as soon as possible. Sounds like he's coming here. Fallen Blood is in here, unfortunately. He's going to lock me. He's going to kill me. No, he's going to get the stun on me. He's going to set up some kind of focus. But at the very last second, look what happens here. I'm going to get out of here. I think he poisoned me. But it turns out that the guy who was originally chasing me gets the kill on me. Fallen Blood Eyes does not get the poison. Maybe he gets 50 points. We're getting intercepted by Marty Hugans Jr. Takes the kill. 34 seconds left on the clock. 30 seconds remaining. Man. All right. Alcohol's wearing off a little bit. Anyway, my point was Añejo Tequila. You guys should definitely consider Añejo Tequila. It's totally different than regular tequila. It doesn't taste like poison, which is a really big deal. Five seconds left on my poison, by the way. So I was just like, oh, I can move this blend group. I'll just wait for my poison on the clock, get my silent poison. So there, I could have just killed her, but I saw all my cooldowns. I'm paying attention to cooldowns. I got nine seconds left on the clock. Plenty of time for her to die. Someone's coming down here who I can kill. Oh, there they are. He just fell right off the roof. I can't stun him from here. But he can't kill me, and I'm going to make it out alive. 9,200 points, finishing first place. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how it's done. 
So sure, could have played better, could have played worse. Um, probably could have gotten some cool grab kills if I was able to lure people up to the roof. But I just want to send a little message here to uh, Mr. Fallen Blood Eyes. This isn't personal Fallen Blood Eyes, but this is my general philosophy. If you don't want to get shot, don't put yourself in a position to get shot, all right? If you're in a morph group, all right, you're in a blend group, you're killing people super incognito, poisoning them, guess what? I probably can't shoot you because I can't tell who the fuck you are. But if you're in high profile on the roof, I'm putting a bullet in your head. Anyway, everyone, I'm Wingspan, TET from TopTierTactics.com. I recommend Barefoot Moscato and then Yeho Tequila, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.